Spectra has a brand new version coming out this month. It's going to be a big deal. It's a complete website building solution for WordPress. It's used on hundreds of thousands of websites, but is it the right website building solution for you? In this video, we're going to try to answer that by looking at the 10 things that they absolutely nail and get right for building complete websites. I'm going to go fast, so let's get started. They have a beautiful user interface for the block settings. It is beautiful. It is well thought out and well organized. Here is just some stuff that I threw together using this brand new version. And when I click right here, you can see I've clicked into the container. Um, it's just beautiful. Look at the color scheme, how everything functions and flows. It is a gorgeous and functional user interface. It's super easy to find the setting that I'm looking for. It doesn't feel overwhelming and I can accomplish more with less clicks. Next is the user experience. You can customize some of the behaviors there. And let me just show you some of these goodies. So first, here I am in the settings. Just a second ago, you saw me clicking inside of some of those blocks. And if you notice, when I clicked into a panel, the prior panel that I was in collapsed. Now, not everyone might not like that behavior, but there's an option for that. So when I go into the Spectra options right here in settings, here it is, collapsible panels. So if you notice, it was collapsing the panel as I was going into a new one. You can see right here, if that's not your, your thing, you can have have that not be the case here. Another thing I really like is it will remember where you left off inside of a blocks settings. So if I click right here into this info box and let's say I'm going to go here and I'm going to go to where the content is. This just has some alignment and title tag options. And so then I'm going to click into this second info box right here. And when I click, guess what? It puts me into the same exact spot that I was in here because frequently what happens happens is in a grid like this, when you have three info boxes, you're going to try different things and you want to be able to try a setting in this block and then try it in this block and then try it in this block. And it just remembers exactly where you left off. But even along with that, there's a copy and paste style. So if I'm in here and say I'm going to change a style and I want to change this uh, icon box color. So if you notice it was blue here and I just changed it to purple. Well, if I want to copy this across, I can click right here. I can go to copy styles and then click into the next block and then just simply paste it. And you can see now that color change has carried across and this is going to be such a big time saver. Spectra is a complete solution. It's not just a couple pieces of what you need for a complete website. No, it's a complete solution. So what's going to end up happening is your website will need less plugins, which means less moving parts, less third party vendors and the negatives that come with a mishmash of plugins on your website website. So here I am again on the settings panel. Uh, what's the thing that you might need or you most likely are going to need when you're building a website? You're going to need a coming soon page. Well, check this out. You don't have to add a plugin for that or some custom code someplace that might break your website. Just go to settings, click on coming soon, choose the page that you want people to see, toggle it on, boom, you're set. You are done. Next, when you're looking here at the list of blocks, they're modular, by the way, we'll get into that in a moment, there's blocks that would be an entire separate plugin. So every website needs a form. Well, this has the form builder included inside of the package. Do you want to add social share icons on your website? It's included. Many of the blocks that you see here replace entire plugins that you would need on your website to have a fully functional website. So when you use a website builder like Spectra, it's a complete solution, which means there's going to be less on your website that could potentially slow it down. Next, all these blocks and a lot of the features in Spectra are completely modular. You can choose only the blocks that you want. So here I am in the screen and you can see we have these filters right here. So if you want to customize what's in here, I'll click on all, click on deactivate all and check this out. First option is core. So there's a core mode. Let me go ahead and activate it and it's just going to activate these 
space. So if you're one of those people that just wants the core essential building blocks for every web page, you have it right here. It's the container, the heading, the image, and buttons. These are the very basic components that make up every web page on the internet. Now for me, I'm always looking to do more with less effort. So I like some of the other blocks that are in here because they're going to help me to save time. So right here, the info box, you're going to save a ton of time and I'll show you that. The call to action block, I love that. We've got tabs here. I love that as well. I need a contact form on my website. For my blog, I want a table of contents so you can choose exactly what you want right here and you can choose to not have what you don't want and next spectra offers a complete layout system to build your website pages out and it's built on the right foundation which is flexbox containers this is exactly what elementor which has what 15 million websites using it has switched over to this flexbox container and you can use that same flexbox container technology here inside of Spectra. And now when I say this Flexbox thing, it's a super techie phrase, just know that it enables you to create highly flexible and responsive layouts. There's a ton of performance benefits. There's less out code output. It's a great way to build your websites, but it's very simple. All you do is you go here, click on the plus, click on container, and it's added right here. And then choose the layout that you want. You want a three column layout, you just go ahead and click right there. And then when you're inside of the container options and you scroll down, uh, actually, let me scroll up because that panel memory uh, right here, here's the Flexbox properties. And this is the exact same for Flexbox properties that open up the full potential of a Flexbox on your website. Now there's a lot to this and there's a lot of cool things to learn about it. And this is not a tutorial, obviously, on Flexbox, but as soon as this releases in uh, later this month, I'll have a full tutorial specifically on Flexbox, how to use it, how to get the most out of it to create flexible website layouts. Now, for some of you developers that know about different layout systems, what you're not seeing is CSS Grid. Now, they are going to be looking into adding a CSS Grid block to the Spectra package if you want to create more advanced layouts. I personally prefer Flexbox, but if they add CSS Grid, I'll be happy with that too, because there might be some scenarios where that might be just a little bit easier to accomplish what I'm after. Next, Spectra blocks, essentially essentially just optionally do more. You can do more with a single block and it makes it a much more powerful solution that's going to save you a ton of time and a ton of clips clicks that certainly add up. So here I am. I'll first add, let's just get basic. I'll add this heading block. So whenever you look at a website layout and you see a heading, you just see a heading on its own sometimes, but you usually end up seeing it with a subheading. So I can go right over here to the right and I can toggle on the subheading. Now there's also an option to have like a divider. Uh, that's not my thing. Uh, I don't usually like that, but I always have a heading and then a subheading. Well, this this single block can do more. And for the heading, I can go ahead and make this be just paragraph text if I wanted to. You have all of these options. And another thing I really like about the heading is the highlight option. So I can go here and I can highlight this and then I can go into the style click on highlight and then I have these highlight options so I can adjust the padding of the highlight, the color of the highlight, essentially everything having to do with this highlight. And it's very, very powerful. You can actually highlight the entire heading like that and you can do some really neat things with it as well. Now that's just where it begins. So let's go ahead and remove this. One of my uh, favorite blocks is the call to action block. So when you go to a website and you say, see a video or an image on the right, usually on the left, you see different pieces of information and you can accomplish all of that in a single block. 
let me show you. So I'm going to enter a call for call to action. And here's the call to action block. Now, this is not the layout I'm after. There's these presets. We'll talk about them later. And this is the layout you typically see, right? You see a heading, you see some text, and then you see a button. So uh, I can fully customize this. I would probably make this maybe like an H1, um, customize this, style this out a little bit. But then you know what you see a lot? You end up seeing two buttons, right? Um, buy my thing and learn more. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. Uh, so first, for the first button, I'll click right here. And guess what? We got some presets here. So I'm going to go ahead and choose that. That looks good. And then for the additional button, let's just go ahead and toggle that on. And uh, let's choose something different like that. And you can customize it all you want. So this was one block that I used to accomplish all of this, uh, where if you were just piecemealing blocks together, you would have to have a headings block, a paragraph text block, and you'd have to have a button block with two buttons in it. So this saves you with clicks big time. And it doesn't stop there. You have it with the info boxes. You go right here. There's so many different things that you can uh, enable or disable if you wanted. It's going to be just a huge time slaver. So these blocks allow you to accomplish more. Now for most things, they have presets available. Now I've already let the cat out of the bag on the presets, obviously, right? I was in here and I was showing you presets for the buttons. I was showing you presets for the overall block layout. I love these presets, but they put presets in very clever spots. So obviously I showed you the presets in the button. Um, so here actually, let me show you, I'm gonna add a, a cool marketing button I like this and when I click on it, check it out. I've got my presets right here. I can change the look and feel of this and then tweak it a little bit more to meet what I'm after. Here's a preset example, but they go further than that. So here is a Flexbox container. I'm going to click on it and you can see I'm in the parent container. Guess what? You have presets to style the inner containers. So like here's what it looks like when you just first put a container on and I chose these three containers. Uh, uh, inner containers like that, but then there's presets for the style of the inner containers. Let me show you that. So I've clicked into this one now. Uh, here it adds some spacing and some box shadow to all of it. That is a huge time saver, especially when you're making these design decisions because they're right here. They're all just one click away. I really like this one. So if we just added uh, a color to the background, uh, let's add a like a subtle color to that. Um, just something so you can see it just adds this really nice effect to it. So you have that and you also have it when you are going into box shadows. So there's these different box shadow presets. So I love these presets, a huge time saver, especially if you're a non-designer like myself. Next, if you like templates, then Spectra is going to definitely be your jam. I don't know if you saw it up here on the top left. There's a button that says template kits. Boom. Here you have full website template kits and you can see for each one it tells you how many templates are in it so say I make it a business website and I like this home page right here well I can just click this one button boom I have it all built with spectra right there on my website ready to go but that's not all. If you click right here, there's patterns available. There's wireframes available that use a globally linked color palette. You have all of these templates. Now, if templates are not your thing, they also have you covered. If you go back here to the settings panel, click on templates, check this out, enable templates button. So if you're building a site for a client and you don't want them to see that template button, just come here, click on this toggle, and then boom, it's no longer there. Next is the code output. Spectra aims to be the closest thing to hand coding. That essentially means when you're building your web page layouts using Spectra, when someone visits that page, there's not going to be any of that unnecessary code. Now, in this video, I'm not going to be doing speed tests because I want this to be kind of a quick video, but I'll have some of those once the final version of Spectra releases. I will say whatever block package you consider or website builder you consider to to produce really optimized code, Spectra is going to compete with that neck and neck. 
And number 10, Spectra is completely free. Everything that I've shown you in this video so far, you can have access to and start using and build websites and there's absolutely no cost to you. But not only is there no cost to you, Spectra is made by the same people who make the Astro theme and several other products. And if you've ever used any of their products, you know they're not the guys that put banner advertisements, like if they have a sale on something, there's a banner advertisement all throughout your website. They're not the guys that do that. They don't do that kind of annoying stuff. So it's a very clean interface. And even if you wanted to buy something, they don't even have it to sell you because there's not a pro version of Spectra that you can buy right now. Now they are actually building a pro version. I'm really excited about some of the things that they're building to uh, add features for really advanced users. So dynamic content, there's a full theme builder in there. There's some more advanced blocks. I saw the Instagram block, it's pretty amazing. So that's one less plugin you need to add to your website. If you want to add an Instagram feed to your website, uh, you name it, it's getting added to the pro version, uh, some of these advanced features that you certainly may end up wanting. Uh, but the free version, what we just take, took a look at, uh, you can use that to build fully powerful websites. All those templates were free. Everything that you saw in this video is free and it's a great option for people building their website. Now, like I said, this is not out yet. Uh, they're going to have a, a release candidate of this out in about a week. Uh, and then in July 2022, they're going to finally be releasing this. And when they do release it, I'll make a full tutorial on it. This video was not meant to be a full tutorial. It was more just to show you some of the things that I think they get right to help you decide if this is the next website builder for you. So if you give this video a thumbs up, I'd really appreciate that. Thanks for spending this time with me and I'll see you next time.